in your life in the past. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, Joseph was pressing forward. I will be going further and further about this about the life of this man. Because he not lose progress. When he told his brother that what they will buy for me, they said, you know, it cannot be so. You are, you are, you are the, the, son, uh, the last uh, son of our father. How can we worship you? Because he is a man of vision. He don't want to lose his vision. He don't want anybody to talk with his destiny. He don't want anybody to play with his life. Because whenever you are a forgotten person, you are, you, you are, you are trying to operate beyond your age mate, beyond your companions, beyond anybody that you used to know you when you are small. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us see again 39, verse 20, verse 19 to 22. Joseph was with the Potiphar's wife. If he wants to betray his destiny, if he wants to lose the focus, he would walk up with the wife of Potiphar. Hallelujah. Amen. A concentrated person. Don't give anybody any chance to tamper with his destiny. Your destiny is your life. Your destiny is your power. Your destiny is your progress. Your destiny is your upliftment. Hallelujah. He don't want to mess up with his destiny. Because and he said to his brother, I know I have been dream. I am going to be great. Hallelujah. Today, many of us here who don't know what our destiny is like. Some people here, they are going to be great. Because they have not realized their destiny and they have lost vision and focus. That is why you can see them running up and down, running head and scatter. They are still saying we are in transit. But in the transit, the Lord also visits his purpose. Hallelujah. Yeah. 30, 39 verse 19 to 20, I will read. So, Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 19. When his master heard the story, he, his wife told him, saying, This is how your slave treated me. He born with anger. Joseph's master took him and put him in prison, the place where the king's prisoner were confirmed. But while Joseph was there in the prison, the Lord was with him in, in, in a transit land. The Lord was with him. He showed him, he showed him kindness and granted him favor in the eyes of the prisoners. Well, so the Lord put Joseph in charge of all those here in the prison. And he was made responsible for all that was done there. Hallelujah. Amen. Even in, in a transit land, you must find favor in the eyes of the Lord. And in the eyes of the Lord, by which you find favor, your upliftment is from there. In the present, we are people are misleading and misunderstanding what abroad is like. People take traveling from Nigeria to Tokyo, there is a dream, planted money, you will be broke money. Each money you work up, you broke it. There is a man in his office, he put a calendar, determination today leads to success tomorrow. Do you think it is easy for you to make a way? It is not by strength and no man prevail. It is by the God's grace. But by the determination of your life today can lead you to success tomorrow. Even in that still transit land, you can have a connection that will lead you back to Nigeria. It is possible for the Lord. But let that vision of transit be out of your mind. You can still make it in a transit land. Hallelujah. Amen. I tell you, I collected a lot of money in this country, but travel nowhere. Hallelujah. But I will not question the Lord because He has a vision, He has a purpose for my life. Hallelujah. He says, in, in, in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, say, I know the thought I have for you. I will not destroy you whenever you say you are in transit, but I will make, you, I mean, I will make your eyes to be open. You know the thought I have for you, not to, have, not to destroy your vision or terminate your destiny. The thought of peace. Do you think you are here, you are saying you are in transit, you cannot make it here. It is possible for the Lord to grant you your heart desire. Hallelujah. Amen. But let that vision, let that mind go out from you. If Joseph said, I am in a transit, 
Then 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 the Potiphar's wife wanted, to, wanted Joseph to mess up his feet, his person. He said, no, my master did, he trusted everything into my care, but except you. Except you. But some of us here will, will be able to mess up, so that the Potiphar's wife will be giving us dollars and the hero, so that they will terminate our vision. On the way, the Potiphar's wife is giving you money, you are, you are killing your destiny and your career. You are killing your career. The blessing of the Lord will not manifest it upon your life because you are proper up with your destiny. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. But only few, including me, I know that I will fall up with the first wife if to receive daughters and give. But people say, abroad is a place we can, where we can seek the presence of God and know the, the possibilities of God. It is this place who can know that the Lord still answers prayer. But in your father's house, your mother will give you Mama thank you in the morning, Mama thank you in the evening. It is not so. But it is here we can know the power of God. We can know that the Lord is able to oppress the poor man. We can know that the Lord is able to make impossibilities to be possible. From verse 9 to 15. I read already. And uh, from verse 20 to 23. From verse 15, I read. Nine, 9 to 15, I mean. Praise the Lord. There in the prison, a dreamer is there from the from interpreting dreams. He has to be known. Even in the king's palace. Hallelujah. Yeah. Even some of us here will have the gift of dreams. Yes, you think some people have the gift of thinking. Yes, you think that in your thinking minute you cannot make it. You can make it. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, From us men I read. So the chief called Pierre and told Joseph his dream. He said to him, In my dream I saw a vine in front of me. And on the vine the air, we are there. We are, we are there a branches. As soon as it bore, bore it, it broke some, and it grows down, ripe into grapes. As soon as Pharaoh's cup was in my hand, and I took the grapes, squeezed them into Pharaoh's cup, and put the cup in his hand. This is what it means, Joseph said to him. Hallelujah. Amen. The three branches are three days. With, with these three days, Pharaoh will lift up your legs and restore you to your position, portion. And you will put Pharaoh's cup in his hands, just as you used to do when you were with, when we were his cup here. But when all when all goes well, mark this place. But a dreamer, you have your reward. He said, when, but when all goes well with you, remember me and show me kindness. Make sure my name to Pharaoh and get me out of this prison. For I was possibly carried off from the land of the Hebrews. And even here, I have done nothing to deserve people to people in a dungeon. Hallelujah. A dreamer, a focused person. Although it will take time, but it won't them or surely not to pass. It, it only takes a while, but one day it must surely not to pass. There is a man of God that says, A journey of